Right, unless you've been living under a rock, you'll have probably heard about the dev build challenge between Brett from Design Joy using Webflow and Henrik Wes from Lovable using Lovable and who can build the best marketing website in 45 minutes. I subsequently got into a conversation with Matt Evans who challenged me to build in Lovable a edit content editable system basically replicating Webflow's basic functionality which is creating, editing, deleting posts, publishing them, things like that. Although I wasn't up for having a race necessarily because my biggest criticism in all this is that this stuff just does take time. I did know that I could probably create a basic CMS system using Lovable. I did an episode here on replay on my other channel, but I hadn't used Lovable before and I thought this was a great opportunity just to test Lovable and see what it's all about. So here's my attempt at rebuilding web flows basic functionality with Lovable. Let's just show you really quickly what we're building. We're basically, we've got this marketing front page here um, with a blog section, and this is gonna obviously show all of the blogs. Then you've got this admin area, which if I log in, I'm forwarded to the dashboard here where I can add new blogs. Um, I can edit them, change all the content. I can unpublish them if I want. Um, and add new blogs. So this is what I'm gonna be building in Lovable. Personally, I think this is a much nicer UI than uh, Replit. But saying that, let's figure out what our prompt is going to be. So build a marketing uh, website homepage with a blogs page, blog item page, a content editor should be able to log in to the back end with, let's say, a Google. Let's just do a simple Google login. They should be able to add, edit, delete, uh, reorder blog posts. A blog post should have a title, date, what else do you have in a blog post? Um, rich, let's just stick a rich text area. Uh, tags as well, I think that'll do. Publishing them should be reflected on the marketing website. Like I'm not, I'm not fussed on the design, obviously. We're just trying to get something up and running here. So let's just, let's just go with that. I love that you can do import there. I think you can, use the Figma plugin that trans that creates HTML from your design. And then it uses that from um, as inspiration, I guess, for making the design. Let's see what goes on here. I'm excited. So it's a Next.js project, which is great. It's using Fireblaze. Keep it, this looks like Tailwind stuff here. So it's gonna use Tailwind. It looks like you can sync this to GitHub as well. Like my belief is that AI is literally just a starting point for you to really get yourself up and running. I still use uh, Replit to edit current websites that I'm on because it is good, but it's good to have be able to have the option to sync this with GitHub and then code if you need to. I love that option. I've been recording for four and a half minutes and already I'm looking, it's looking pretty good. So the six minute mark now. Project's being used and wasn't able to acquire a lot before input. Perfect, can you install Firebase? Just to jump here, and one of my biggest criticisms at Lovable at this stage is that it was stuck on this um, poor, in, uh, bad installation of Firebase for quite a while with no feedback in the, in the, in the chat window about what's actually happening. Um, I tried typing some things to try and kick it into gear, but it just sort of did its own thing with very little feedback, which I was scratching my head at for a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. And once again, it needed a lot of Firebase configuration and environment variables and things like that. The chat window didn't give me any sort of feedback as to what that is, and I had to look into the live website and debug that in order to understand that, oh, I needed to set up Firebase stuff. And I was also surprised that it didn't automatically use Superbase um, for its authentication and database stuff. Firebase, cool. 
Yeah, so I think the UI could be clearer here that it needed that stuff, to be honest. So let's go to Firebase, create a new project. Test. Cool. Set. Let's work. Set to. Okay, so it's done that. So it doesn't look like there's no environment variable thing, which is a bit shit. Probably not the right way to do it. Right. We are getting somewhere. So actually, we don't want an about page. We've got our blogs. And whatever. Remove about and and contact from nav pre populate with three recent blogs about wombats oh free message limit here we go cool so what was that? Remove, remove, bout and contact wombats. Cool. Right, let's give it a go. Uh, configurate, auth configuration not found. We need to go into Firebase. Uh, we need authentication. Cool. Just loading some posts. What's going on here? Firebase Fire Store. Okay, so it needs the Fire Store. Let's get that. Firebase. Create a database. Database ID. We'll stay in Europe. GDPR and all the rest of it. Start in production mode. To no. Cool, no errors. Let's try to pre populate. First load of the dashboard. Let's just do that so we can get this pre populating. Boom! So here we go. Here we can just edit and I don't know what total post of 12 is, but there you go. Post settings, so we need a settings page. Blog, loading posts, done. Obviously I know what Matt is referring to here. You cannot update a design, you can't change the a content editor, can't update the content on the homepage unless they're in Lovable. They can obviously prompt their way through making updates to the design and all the rest of it. But this is inevitably the role of a content editor um, being able to log in and add posts and blogs and things like that. It's pretty successful in my eyes. God knows how I would create a designer, but I, I do think that is somewhat possible to be able to create a editable design. I do think there is a time and a place for Webflow. Probably wouldn't even recommend a custom build like this unless uh, they absolutely needed it for whatever reason. But this did save me tons of time, what would typically be a basic blog posting website. I think my screen share totaled about 35 minutes, something like that. But there's obviously so much more to be done here. I'd love to be able to upload a design, which I just don't have, and just how I'd approach the design altogether. I still think we're a ways from actually Lovable or any other AI tool, including Figma AI, from being notable as a creative thing. Development is quite easy to use AI for, but actually creative design, we're still not there yet. So I'm, I'm not holding out for Lovable to do anything amazing, but that saved me 
hours of time. The UI is a bit of a ways to go again. Replit would warn me about certain things. It would get me to input variables and stuff like that. I had to kind of assume that I needed to put in the Firebase uh, functionality and set up Firebase so it had authentication, it had database and all that kind of stuff. I would like to have done it through Superbase considering that is the sort of recommended route to do it. Again, I'm surprised it didn't let me do that. But ultimately, if you know how to build something, if you know how to structure something, which again, I said in my other video, you'll do so much better if you know how to code, if you know how to build applications, you're gonna do so much better in these tools. Really nice interface from Lovable, but I think I do prefer Replit. Anyway, like, subscribe if you haven't already, check out my patreon.com slash 0x5m54 for bonus content, early release content, and to support the channel and, and what I'm doing. Until next time, happy no coding.